Welcome everyone. Um, in today's video, we're going to be doing tower defense video. Um, our tower. We're going to be starting out our tower defense game. Um, so to do that, uh, let's get started with the top map. Um, so there's going to be a few things. Um, I've already imported the tower defense top down. Uh, this is going to be from Kenny's site. Um, there's a bunch of stuff, and we're going to change a bunch of things because, as you can see, when we put in the tile set, it's pretty big compared to the screen size. So we we'll actually change that. Um, Actually, yeah, we'll change that. We're gonna double it. So let's go to window and let's just times two. So we'll copy that, put there, copy that. And for everything else, um, mode, we'll do, we'll disable. And then this will expand. And then everything I think we'll keep the same. Um, so now when we play, we're not gonna play anything actually. We're gonna first make a scene. Let's have this be main. We'll save this and we'll select this current. Ooh, that's really big. Let's alt for that. Now let's go to project settings one more time. We're gonna take this. Um, we're gonna to go to the override and we're gonna divide this by four actually. I'm gonna take this and then divide it by four. And now when I play, it should be a lot smaller. So you can t play around with that. That's like the test one from Godot 3, um, but because I'm using Godot 4, I guess it's called override now. Okay, let's uh, go back here, close this, and let's create our tile set. So the first thing we're gonna do in our project is we're gonna create a tile set for the uh, game because our tower defense game is gonna be based off of a lot of tile map coding. Um, so the first thing we have to do is create a tile set for the background at least. Okay. Um, so, there's a lot of things to do, but the first thing we're gonna do is the cell quadrant. We're gonna change that to 64. Let's create a new tile set. In our tile set, we're just gonna take our tile sheet and drag it in. And I want Godot to automatically do this for me. And in here, um, there's a lot of new things that we can do. There's layers, transform. Uh, if we go into the tile set, we click the tile set, we can see terrain sets. So terrain set is going to allow us to auto tile um, we'll get into that in a second, but I want you to see the size of the tile. It's quite small, right, comparatively compared to the um, game itself. So I want to change that. So there's a few different things we're going to change. Um, the configure snap we're going to change because the grid, if we if we zoom in, this thing here is 15 pixels. So we're going to change that to 64 because our tiles are quite big. Um, the primary line every step doesn't matter. We'll change. We'll leave that as eight, and now our tiles are a lot bigger. Um, we're going to also go into the tile size. We're going to change that to 64 by 64. And now we can see our tiles are a lot bigger. Um, we're also going to go into here. We're going to change this into 64. And this always lags, so I'm not going to have to wait. It always loads. I'm just going to give it a minute. Uh, this this is something I think Godot 4 needs to change uh, because it always lags whenever I change this properties. Um, one other thing to keep in mind is tile or Godot tile map now actually automatically does the singular tiles, um, but we're going to have to manually do the auto tile still. So as you can see here, we have our tile map now and we can now, whoop, yeah, I should be able to draw. Why can't I? Ah, here we go. Draw. I can now draw in our tile, but that's inefficient, right? I don't want to this and just kind of draw everything on my own. That's too boring or too much work for me. So we're going to do an auto tile. So to do auto tile, we're going to create terrain sets. So we're going to create an element here. This is going to be the first one. Uh, and then we're going to add another terrains in here. So we have terrain set and then we have the terrain itself. So in the terrain set, we can go to the paintbrush, uh, paint properties. And now we can tr paint our terrain set. So we go to terrain set zero and terrain one or zero, I guess. And you can choose which one you want to do. There's a bunch of different ones, depending. There's like four different ones. No, that's a lie. One, two, uh, three times three. There's nine, nine different uh, tile sets um, to do. I'm going to choose this one. So it's going to be like dirt with in the inside and uh, grass on the outside. So for this, all we're going to do is we're going to select the inside of it. Um, and I think 
Yeah, and then in here, we're gonna select the dirt. Do. I think that'll be it. And now in our tile map, we can go to terrains, select terrains. And now when I draw, it'll automatically start drawing. Um, there are some issues. But we're going to have to fix that. So the only issues there are are when they don't exist. So it won't be able to draw whenever something doesn't exist. So obviously, if I do like this, that doesn't exist in our tile map or tile set map. So it's not going to work. Um, but if I do like, whoop, sorry, select the tile map, tile set, terrain. If I do like here, that'll work and that'll be fine. Right? Awesome. Um, let's actually double check. Yeah. I think that's it. Um, you can edit this a bit more to make sure it works perfectly, but that's it for our terrain set. Okay, um, let's actually delete that because I don't want this in my tile map. Do, 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 do. And now let's save this as a yeah, tile map. I'm just gonna rename it tile map. I'm gonna save it and let's make a new folder for this. Uh, we'll say tiles and then we'll save in here. And then we're in our main, we're going to go into Tiles, we're going to drag this guy in. It's going to be our background. So we're going to basically just draw a bunch of things. Um, and remember, you can still select a single tile as you want in here. So you can go into the tiles instead of terrains, and we're going to select um, tiles. And in here, we're going to have to change the configure steps as well back to 64 and 64. Let's say OK. And why isn't it the same? going on cell so corner 64 ah that's why okay so the transform wasn't zero zero okay um so now what i do is i can hold shift and drag all the way to create a big map and i'm just going to create a big map that is going to be our level level one almost and then we can fill that and then we're going to fill it actually no we're not going to fill it we're going to go to terrains and draw first for now, we'll just start like really simple. We'll kind of go in a loop like this and then end. Actually, we'll go like this. Okay, now we have to make sure we fill in the little creases kind of. Make sure to kind of thicken the road. Two. we go. All right, there we go. So now we have a little nice um, terrain that is a path. And in the next video, we'll learn how to get something to move along that path. Um, but for now, let's also finish filling out the tile. So we'll go here, we can select the, this guy, what is it called, paint bucket, and just fill it in. So now when we play, we have this little guy. Obviously the camera is too small, it's too zoomed in. So we're not gonna actually add a camera, but as long as we can see it, it's fine. So that'll be it for today's video. Um, this was a good start to just set up our tile set. Um, hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys kind of understand how to set up your own tile map now. Um, we've gone through setting up the tile in a uh, single um, on its own. Um, Godot already does that on our for us pretty much, but we can now also auto tile, which is quite nice. So. Yeah, uh, hopefully that was helpful. Um, just make sure in the paint properties, you selected terrains and terrain, terrain, etc. So yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.